An underground explosion leads to manhole fires in downtown Baltimore on North Charles Street. This led to several street closures and uh, left hundreds of BGE customers without power for the majority of the day. Some of the power has been restored tonight, but BGE is still working to get to the rest. WMER 2 News, Janae Wright downtown with the latest on the outages and the road closures. Janae? Yeah, Kelly, the power is back on tonight on the 300 block of North Charles Street. Uh, they re restored the power just before 7 o'clock, in fact. Now, earlier today, the 300 block of North Charles Street all the way to Lexington Street, parts of Mulberry Street and Saratoga Street and St. Paul to Sharp Street were all closed. Some of those places are still closed. As you can see behind me, still there's some road closures because they're repairing. Speaking of repairing, if we take a look right here, you can see that bg &E is in this manhole that's across the street. They're doing some sort of repairs. It's unclear exactly what they're doing, but I know they're working to restore power tonight. In fact, about an hour ago, bg &E put out a statement saying crews continue to perform the necessary repairs to restore customers who remain without power and anticipates the balance of customers will be restored in stages overnight and into Monday morning. Early Sunday morning, an explosion underground led to multiple manhole covers catching fire on the 300 block of North Charles Street. There were a couple that were blown off, yes. So we had at least three that were blown off. The Baltimore City Fire Department was notified after a fire alarm in a Verizon store went off. The fire department immediately closed several roads and bg &E cut power to surrounding blocks. We found that there were multiple fires um, with multiple manhole covers uh, around Shortly before 8.30, the fire was then under control. Although firefighters were able to get things under control, they remained on scene for several hours, keeping people away from North Charles Street as they assessed the damage. Outside of the power outage, there was minimal damage to a business on North Charles Street, close to where the manhole covers exploded. No reported injuries of any uh, civilians. We had one report of an injury for a firefighter for minor injuries. And was, he was transported to the local hospital. Adriana Tate lives in a building on the corner of North Charles Street. She says the explosion woke her up early Sunday morning. She says she is frustrated because this is the second time this has happened on her block this year. The last explosion was in January. I saw it on the Citizens app saying fire underground and I was like, again, I knew what was going to happen. I already knew this was going to happen because last time this happened. She says although she was able to leave her building and find a place to go with power, she worries about others in her building who weren't able to leave. It's really dangerous for people who are not able bodied. And since her building did not have any power for over 15 hours, she says she wasn't able to get her work done she had planned for the day. I'm a teacher and so I need to do my lesson plans. I can't do my lesson plans. I can't meal prep. I'm hoping that my food doesn't go, you know, spoiled or whatever. Tate says she also wants to know why the explosion happened a second time on the same block. And fire officials are investigating the situation to figure out what caused the explosion. And I do want to mention that the storefront that we saw that was being boarded up earlier is actually a bookstore that got significant damage through the floor of that explosion, through the floor of the bookstore was, was completely damaged. So we'll be following up on that business as well. And in addition to that, the Enoch Pratt Central Library also sustained, it was affected by the explosion. There was some damage to the library's fi uh, fiber cords that provide internet. So the library will be closed all day Monday to assess those damages. In Baltimore, Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.